In an exclusive Freedom of Information request filed by the Rebel.media, it has been uncovered that partisan Twitter troll, blogger, and Pride Parade gatekeeper Michael Morrison has been receiving thousands of dollars every month from Rachel Notley's NDP government. Illegal immigrant advocate, bike lane obsessionist, and as we've recently learned, a paid propagandist, Michael Morrison has been the beneficiary of a political patronage contract with the government of Alberta worth tens of thousands of dollars. In monthly installments, Morrison has in fact been paid for years to vacation around the province on the taxpayer's dime. The contracts, which started with the Alison Redford government and were renewed under Rachel Notley, just happened to expire around the same time as the NDP's electoral mandate is expected to. According to Morrison, he has not been paid by the government in some time as he hasn't done work for them recently, but he did not go as far to say that the contract had been terminated prematurely. The contract, which explicitly states Morrison will act on behalf of Travel Alberta and the government of Alberta, it goes on to say that Morrison, quote, must not compromise the integrity of or damage the reputation of either Travel Alberta or any other government body. Remember this because I'm going to come back to it. The contract also stipulates that he need not be vulgar on Twitter and uh, use expletives, but as you can see, that clearly has not stopped him. From the Rocky Mountains to Drumheller, a socialist activist is expensing his meals up to 30 bucks a pop and getting paid, quote, a dollar a word for whatever he types on his personal blog. Man, I would love that job. Now, I'm not here to say that this job is a waste of taxpayers' money. I think the evidence speaks for itself here. But what is clear is that Morrison's relationship with Notley does not end here. While lots of his time is spent on fairly innocuous activities like emailing employers of people on Twitter who he disagrees with to fighting to segregate the Calgary Police Service from marching in the Pride Parade, a large amount of his time is spent as a talking head with the mainstream media. Morrison has been featured in almost every single media outlet that Calgary has to offer, and it will be no surprise to you to learn that the state broadcaster, the CBC, is his biggest fan. What is so concerning about this is that each and every time he's featured, the mainstream media fails to disclose that he has a signed contract ensuring that he'll be a cheerleader for the government. In turn, Rachel Notley pays to keep his lights on. We sent a handful of questions to Morrison asking if his contract was a result of the ideological similarities between himself and the government, and he sent us this following response. I'll read it out to you. Thank you for your email. My business relationship with Travel Alberta started in 2013 under the PC government. I was last paid by Travel Alberta in June 2017 and have not worked for them since, with them since. I do not know how Travel Alberta or other government agencies determine the influencers they work with. I suggest you contact them with any questions around that process. Transparency in presenting my views is always very important to me. Unfortunately, Mike, actions speak louder than words. And I've not found a single instance of you being properly identified as a whipped government contractor. Morrison recently wrote an article in the Calgary Herald that, I'm, that I want to talk to you about. It's where he defended the Calgary Pride Parade organizers' inane decision to exclude the United Conservative Party and their gay and lesbian supporters from marching in the parade. Apparently, your membership to the LGBT community is only valid if you're also an active socialist. There's one line in, in the article that really struck me, speaking about the leader of the official opposition, Jason Kenney, after he characterized him as a homophobic villain, Morrison said, and I, and I quote, it is actually easy to show your support for the L LGBTQ plus community, just ask Rachel Notley. Of course, he conveniently neglected to mention that she was his boss. Any reader of the Calgary Herald would assume that Morrison is a well-meaning Calgarian with no agenda other than the gay one. Now look, nobody's blaming him. He's an SJW blogger, and of course, he's gonna jump at the chance to manipulate the large readership of the Calgary Herald. Of course, the five-figure contract with his NDP heroes made his mouth water. The failure here lies solely on the shoulders of the Calgary Herald and other mainstream media outlets who let him get away with it, like the CBC. The media has an absolute responsibility to disclose bias and provide context for the content that they serve the public. The Calgary Herald failed to even write a small blurb that Morrison is on Notley's payroll. In turn, they betrayed their readership. Now, here at The Rebel, we're committed to shining the light on the other side of the story and picking up the slack so often left by the mainstream media. We're going to uncover exactly how much taxpayer money Rachel Notley has been funneling to her friends in low places over the course of her tenure. The Rebel reached out to Travel Alberta for comment, but they did not return our emails, much to our surprise. For The Rebel.media in Calgary, Alberta, 
This is Key Invex Team.